I loved playing Dana Whitaker. I think she was, as I described about some of Aaron's characters, she was really smart. She, um, she's a bit neurotic, high strung, um, type A personality. She's winning in a man's world. She's, uh, I think there were times when she was, uh, she took your breath away by how vulnerable she was. You know, she'd be determined, 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 and then turn out and go, you know, am I too harsh? Am I being too this? Am I? So I think there was a lot of self-doubt, quite a bit of self-loathing, um, which seems to be a hallmark of some interesting people. Um, very quick-witted, thanks to Erin. Very funny, passionate. I loved playing her. It was really hard for me when, you know, Dana and Casey were going to get together. They were going to get together. And I was like, yes, just get together. And then Aaron did this weird, like, I remember it when I said, you know, we finally got together and I went, okay, we can't date. And I went, what do you, what do you mean we can't date? Is this, what, what do you mean? Where's that piece of paper that's going to fall out that says, yes, they date. That was really hard. And I found it as an actor unsatisfying. Not because, you know, I just didn't get to make out with, um, you know, Peter Krause, but because, um, but because I feel like it needed some culmination. Now, what do I know? I'm not the, the storyteller that, that Aaron is. And I know that, you know, once you keep two people apart, you keep them apart. And then once they're together, the story's over. But um, I wish there could have been another way to go so that they could be together and then go on. That was, uh, that was something.